Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke Nasty Summer Summer for the fir first video, first video today on the Tilly Tool. This is going to be a Never Cigar review, so very hot outside, so I'm very off right now, but um, anyway, let me just fix the camera. Okay, let me just fix the camera. Now, um, this is obviously Never Cigar review. It's going to be on this cigar right here, and I was a little bit quick on the intro, but um, it's the first video today, obviously. Only video today than usual, I uploaded a part of my series, How to Smoke a Pipe. But uh, this video is a cigar review. So, it is the Pinario Habano Figurado Torpedo 5.7 by 54. So it's a Figurado size, <clears throat> which is like a Torpedo, Pyramid, uh, Bellicoso, Pyramid, um, any kind of cigar that has a tip. So like a Perfecto has a tip to it on the end, and also... Um, this has a little bit of a closed foot, so you uh, light the end. It's very easy to light because it's so little tobacco. I think most people know what a Figurado is. So, anyway, it is a 5.7 by 54, so about this long, this long, and um, this wide. Anyway, <clears throat> the first third is smooth tobacco, wood, cedar, nutty, medium bodied, one major touch up. So you first light up, it's very hard to smoke. But you like that little end, it's just a tiny bit of tobacco, it's open, almost impossible to smoke. I had to give it a, a major, major, major touch up in the first third. I had to basically burn the entire, um, around the cigar, clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, just to get it to smoke. The first third would not burn very well. Once I did that, it was pretty damn good. But, um, pretty major touch up. Um, not super good, but um, the point is, I had to give it a major touch-up. That's what the point is. Second third is cedar, wood, tobacco, nutty, slight mustiness, smooth, medium-bodied, medium-strength. Second third, the biggest thing is, it's, same, it's the same basic flavors, with the exception of the, the, uh, musty, the musty flavor. It has a nice, big strength kick. Nice, big nicotine kick. A lot of strength. I would classify it as at least a medium, not a medium to full. More like a medium to full strength. The last third is tobacco, wood, cedar, hot smoke, not good, hard to smoke, nutty, <clears throat> mild to medium bodied. Second, the last third is literally unsmokable. You get a hot, hot smoke, um, warm smoke, not good flavors. It's nasty. It's disgusting, really. And I'm um, just looking at my notes right here. And it's basically impossible to smoke. So, not a good cigar overall. And the reason it's not a good cigar is because um, I've had to put so much heat on it, so much touch up the lighter. The lighter, as in this lighter right here. You know, I've had to give so much of a touch up to the uh, first third because of the little uh, opening. Just another reason why I hate torpedoes, I hate bellicosas, I hate figuratas especially, is because they add nothing to the cigar. All they do is give you problems. Well, they can give you problems. <clears throat> Um, overall strength, medium. I would classify as a medium, medium to full strength, so quite a bit of nicotine. This is probably by far, of all the Pinot Rios Habanos, it has the most strength by far. Um, there might be more. I still have to review the Corona, the Toro, which I'll do eventually, after review the uh, Robusto. So, so far this has the most strength, the most nicotine. Oh, the aroma of it is very nice. It has a very nice, strong tobacco smell. The burn is good okay with the exception of that one major 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 touch up with the exception of that it's a very good burn it lasted 45 minutes so very short smoke um very disappointing i would say because i would expect it to last at least an hour um literally the last third was unsmokable so i could have gone like probably another 10 minutes out of it but um it was so hard to smoke it was just so nasty i didn't even want to try it um 45 minutes which is very disappointing for this big of a cigar i mean this Nice, big, long cigar like this. Very disappointing. Overall, not great. Smooth, tobacco, wood, cedar, nutty, musty, hot smoke. Medium bodied. Medium, medium to full strength. Nice smell, good burn, for, with the exception of the one major touch up. And the first third. Short smoke overall, very short uh, smoke because the last third was basically unsmokable. Six out of ten for rating. Um, that's about a D in my book. I would say it's not horrible. It didn't bubble tar or anything. With the torpedo, be some tor be some torpedoes, cause tar bubbles, but um, this one didn't. 
Um, overall, not good. Very, very bad cigar overall. I would not recommend it. Uh, <clears throat> the Churchill and the Grand Toro were a lot better. The, Gr the Grand Toro for 6x60 was amazing. This sucks. Honestly, this Pino Lario Habano Figurado Toro, T Torpedo, sorry, 5.7x54, uh, crap. Absolute crap. Not the worst, but pretty damn bad. Just not good overall. Bad bad burn in the first third. Very hot smoke by by the um, second third or whatever. End of the second third. And um, just horrible um, smoking time in the last third. Or smoking quality in the last third. Overall, nasty, horrible, bad. Not the worst, but definitely not the best. Anyway, this has been the Pila Real Habano Figurado Torpedo. 5.7 by 54, 6 out of 10 for rating, pretty damn bad, pretty horrible, but it's not the worst. Anyway, give me thoughts, comments, comment, rate, subscribe, press if you want to, and bye.